Hi guys. Well, it is a sad day here in the Dumasphere. Uh, I was not going to even uh, do a rant today, but I just got the news here on Saturday night. It is June 10th, 2023. Well, guys, one of the godfathers of Doom, uh, <laughs> I guess, has cashed in his chips and bought the farm. Uncle Teddy Kaczynski is no longer with us in the Doomosphere. I uh, no, I cannot believe the news has just gotten to me that Ted Kaczynski has left the building. I guess never to return. You know, I have always been conflicted about Ted Kaczynski. Uh, <laughs> I think his... Uh, what was the line out of Heart of Darkness or Apocalypse Now? Are my methods not sound? I, <laughs> you know, Ted, uh, he had the right message, but unfortunately his methods were not sound as much as I do not care for planet eaters. You know, come on, dude, you know, blowing up some random planet eaters here and there uh, is not really going to save a planet. But you got to give Ted credit that he did get uh, his message printed, I think it was, was it in the New York Times and the Washington Post, how many uh, places did uh, Ted Kaczynski get his message posted, uh, and you got to give him credit for that. Uh, you know, I guarantee you that the New York Times or whoever it was uh, who published his manifesto probably would not have even published a letter to the editor if it had not been for his unsound methods, and I am in no way, shape, or form, uh, <laughs> don't, don't, anything I've just said, do not, do not uh, read into that, that, uh, that I support uh, just blowing up random planet eaters like that's going to do a damn thing to save the planet, but... Uh, You know, I'm, I, I can't believe, I mean, I am strangely affected by the news of the death of Ked, Ted Kaczynski. Uh, wow. And uh, all of that MK Ultra shit and all of that, I, I, I mean, I'm actually believing that conspiracy uh, wacko shit about MK Ultra. Uh, programming Ted Kaczynski and all of that other weirdness. Anyway, speaking of weirdness, uh, <clears throat> does anybody out there know anything about vertigo? Uh, I have had the worst vertigo of my life the past couple of days. So I'm sure a lot of you guys will appreciate this. So you might remember, when was it? Three nights ago. You know, I worked all day in that damn, uh, in that damn wildfire smoke a few days ago. Never coughed, had no problem. Right before I went to bed, I did this big rant about all of these pussies putting on their masks and all of this shit. It's a little bit of goddamn smoke in the air. Get used to it. Blah, blah, blah. Sounding like a Fox News correspondent. Uh, when was that? Was that, uh, that was Wednesday night, I think, I did that rant about all these little pussies uh, making all this big deal about this wildfire smoke. And goddamn, Thursday morning, uh, well, anyway, okay, I, 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 got, I got to add all of these details, so uh, I do that rant, I feel absolutely fine. I come up here, uh, I am in Seahorse in the Pines tiny house, 
my newest tiny house here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. So I come up here, it's cold as shit, and I have this, uh, you know, this propane heater, you know, with a little burner on top of the propane tank. So this place is 8 feet by 10 feet. So I shut all the windows on this place, <clears throat> and I burn that heater for about 10 or 15 minutes just to knock off the chill on this cold summer night. This is Wednesday night. Felt totally fine, so I, I, I shut off the heater, but I left it in the closed-up window room, went to bed, and got up the next morning, and my God, it was the worst vertigo uh, of my life. And so then I'm thinking, well, goddamn, I guess I need to eat some crow about the wildfire smoke. And what this, uh, this shit is, uh, it lasted all morning. And so then what happened was Thursday night, two nights ago, uh, I, uh, what I do is I come up here to Seahorse in the Pines. I, you know, it's fucking freezing, 44 degrees on June the 8th, and I shut off, and, you know, all the windows and stuff are shut up in my little, literally my prison size cubicle. I turn on that goddamn propane heater, and I'm actually doing a rant about eating some crow about... Uh, you know, getting vertigo and dizzy and all of this shit and lightheadedness, you know, blaming it on the wildfire smoke. As I'm doing the rant, the goddamn heater is blasting away, and I'm talking... I had that thing going in about 15 minutes, and Jesus Christ, guys... I, uh, like, like, Jesus fucking Christ, I mean, I started, like, you know, not knowing what planet I was on, in the middle of my rant, I, I, I mean, it was like, I suddenly, I could not breathe, I couldn't think straight, and, and I had just enough fucking brains left of it, like, what the fuck is that? It has nothing to do with the fucking wildfire smoke. It's the goddamn uh, propane heater. I had just enough wherewithal to shut that fucking heater up, get it the hell out of here, drag it out on the deck, and open up. I, I managed to open up all of the windows and crawl into bed and, and pass out, and then I got up uh, yesterday morning uh, with, with this goddamn uh, vertigo shit. Uh, it, as bad as it was Thursday, then I think, and you know, goddamn, it was it had nothing to do with the fucking wildfire smoke. It was obviously that propane heater. So anyway, the vertigo goes away after a couple of hours. So last night, so what I, uh, oh, and then, I, okay, I forgot the other part. So here, there, here's another part of, uh, uh, of this multi-layered story. So also what happened is uh, on the first day I got the vertigo, you, some of you might have been following this crazy fucking story about these mythical bed bugs that are supposed to be in this tiny house. You know, I had the exterminator out here on Monday and spending an hour trying to find a fucking sign of a bed bug. No sign of a bed bug. So I've been, uh, you know, we set all of these bed bug traps. And so the, the, the mattress you see now, I just got it raised up. It's been on the floor. So what he told me to do was to put this fucking uh, diatomaceous earth around the bed. So what I did on Wednesday was 
I, I, I got this fucking diatomaceous earth because I had to take it back because the first diatomaceous earth was not food grade diatomaceous earth and there was all of these warnings on this label that it's not, you know, only use, do not use diatomaceous earth in, inside the house. Uh, that this is a fucking insecticide, and you do not, so you have to get this fucking food grade. So I, I take all of the fucking diatomaceous earth back, I get the fucking food grade diatomaceous earth. So, to prevent these bed bugs that we find no sign of, so I, I put this ring of diatomaceous earth all around the bed, but... I was sleeping on the floor. Are you following me? My so all night long, I was inches away from this diatomaceous earth on Wednesday night. And uh, so I get up Thursday morning, uh, and, and 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 I can barely get out of bed. This fucking vertigo is is fucking killing me. So I'm blaming it on the wildfire smoke. Wednesday, and so then it's uh, Thursday night, I have the thing going on with the fucking propane heater. I get the fucking propane heater out, get the fucking windows open, and what do I do? I go back to bed on the floor surrounded by this fucking diatomaceous earth. You know, to prevent bed bugs, which I don't have in the fucking house. And, and uh... So I, I, I've got I've got wildfire smoke. I've I've got fucking uh, I, I've got fucking carbon monoxide poisoning from the propane heater. I've got fucking diatomaceous earth. The diatomaceous earth never fucking enters my mind. So this morning, uh, what happens? I, I the smoke is going away. Uh, I, I don't turn on the fucking heater inside last night. So, the smoke is dwindling. There is no carbon monoxide poison from the heater. So, last night, Friday night, this is night three, I go back to bed, and, and, and this was on the floor. I didn't have the bed in, so I'm down on the floor, uh, inches away from this fucking diatomaceous earth ringing around the goddamn bed. I get up this morning, guys, and, and, and I can barely move. I'm, I'm so fucked up. Uh, so, so anyway, I, I, I get up and like, like motherfucker, that this vertigo is the worst as that has been yet. So I sit here and make a cup of coffee, have a, have a strong cup of coffee and shit. And so the, uh, the vertigo seems to go away. And uh, so I said, okay, so the vertigo, and, and, and uh, I'm going, what the fuck is this all about? So then what happens is, so I'm starting to feel better, and then what I do, since I'm, you know, bringing the bed in, that I, that I got this fucking diatomaceous earth applicator, and I'm, and I'm putting it around the, the cracks in the walls and shit. I mean, now, remember, guys, the, the exterminator... Never found a sign of a fucking bed bug in here. So I go in and I'm and I'm blowing this fucking diatomaceous earth around here. Uh, and, and, and I mean, the shit's coming and you should have seen it in here. I, I, I mean, it was just full of this fucking uh, diatomaceous earth fog. And uh, I, I'm sitting here doing this shit. Nowhere... And the goddamn instructions on this doesn't mention anything about wearing a fucking mask or anything else. And I do this job and I'm breathing this fucking dust and my 
God, this fucking vertigo fucking uh, attacks me. And I'm thinking, Jesus fucking Christ, it had nothing to do with the fucking wildfire smoke. It had nothing to do with the fucking propane. It, uh, it, 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 it is the fucking diatomaceous earth that I've been sleeping right in. And so now I've, now I've fucking poisoned my, my fucking tiny house that didn't have fucking bed bugs with this fucking diatomaceous earth. And now I'm completely fucked. The shit's all inside the walls and everything. Wish I'd never heard of the fucking diatomaceous earth. And so I, I, I go outside and get some oxygen. And uh, so then my brilliant idea is, is what to do. So I mean, you know, I'm uh, I'm researching vertigo and uh, and I'm researching uh, I'm researching wildfire smoke, carbon monoxide poisoning, diatomaceous earth poisoning, all of this shit. Any one of which could give you fucking vertigo. And and it's telling me to you know uh, lay down and. Uh, or at least sit in a chair. So what I do is decide I'm going to go down the fucking hill, grab this mattress. I've been sleeping on these air mattresses. I grab this brand new, out of the fucking box mattress. Put this goddamn thing over my head. I carry a fucking mattress by myself on top of my fucking head, up the hill. I manage... This is, this, this is like 20 minutes after this fucking vertigo attack from the, from the goddamn diatomaceous earth. I make it all the way up the hill. I make it up the stairs to the tiny house. I'm heading to the front door and I fucking, it's like I passed out and I fucking just collapsed uh, into, but, but thank God when I fell, I fell into the mattress. I it just, you know, just this by some, uh, what, what is the chance that when I finally fell on my ass that, uh, that I was actually going to fall into a mattress. So I go face first on the ground and I land in the mattress. Uh, so that was convenient. So I, I get up off my ass, I get my breath, I, I get the fucking mattress in here, and I get the mattress, so I, I lay down on the mattress. And so now, I'm back in the fucking diatomaceous earth, okay? And I'm laying on the mattress, and I'm going, motherfucker, and the whole goddamn room is spinning and shit. And, uh, I'm going, and, and then, of course, I have to pee. <clears throat> okay, so I have to take a leak. But in order to pee, you know, I have to get out of bed, get out the door, and go down. A, you know, I'm up on this deck. I have to go down the flight of stairs. So, uh, I'm, uh, and, 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 and I, I, I didn't want to risk falling down the stairs. So, I say, okay, just piss off the fucking deck, Hambone. Uh, so I, I needed to piss like a, like a goddamn racehorse. I, I'm still woozy. So... I got this big fucking deck around here, guys. Well, there's a, a, a space of deck about 18 inches wide that, that doesn't have a railing around it. You know, where you can just hop on and off. It, there's, there's no stairwell. Uh, there's no railing. There's this one little space of deck Fortunately, it's only about 18 inches off the ground. So if you fall off the fucking deck, uh, you're only going to hit the fucking soft dirt. You're, you, you know, all of the high parts, the four foot parts of the deck are all, you know, where you can't fall off. So I'm standing there peeing. 
I'm on the goddamn deck, and I'm peeing off the deck, and you know exactly where this story is going. I fucking, this fucking vertigo hit me in midstream. I fucking pitch forward face first off the fucking deck. Landed right in the middle of my piss. I'm, I'm, I'm down face first in the fucking dirt. Uh, in a puddle of my own fucking piss, going, Jesus fucking Christ. So that was my day. So I, I, I get up, I take about 10 deep breaths, uh, survey the, uh, the damage, uh, manage to crawl back up on the deck, uh, and, uh, and, and I came and just sat down in a chair for like 30 minutes and it, it and the fucking vertigo went away. Uh, so this is day three and now the fucking wildfire smoke is coming back. The fucking wildfire smoke is coming back. So now I've got the wildfire. I, I don't have any propane in the equation. I got rid of the fucking propane. So now I've got the wildfire smoke coming back. And now I've got the bed surrounded by diatomaceous earth. But at least I'm no longer on the fucking floor. So I have no fucking idea what's going to happen, whether I'm going to have ver fucking vertigo tomorrow or not. But anyway, that's what I've been doing while Ket Ted Kaczynski has been dying of... I don't know what he died of. I don't know how old, how old was Ted. He was probably pretty old, man. Anyway, rest in peace. Ted Kaczynski, and also want to send out an RIP to Gandhi the cat, Veg's cat, Vegematic's cat, Gandhi. Little dog, did you hear that Gandhi has, is no longer with us? So, uh, we're sorry to hear about Gandhi the cat. Oh, boy. They do die on us. They do die on us. Anyway, so uh, what's your prediction? What is, what am, am I going to have vertigo tomorrow or not? Is it the wildfire smoke? Was it the, the carbon monoxide poisoning? Was it the diatomaceous earth? Was it a combination of one, two, or three of the above? Or was it none of the above? Was it something else altogether? Am I getting ready to have a fucking stroke? Anyway, get out there and enjoy your vertigo while you still can. I'm calling it a night. Bye, guys. What do you think of your new bed, little dog? I'm happy with my little bed like that. Bye, guys.